Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kartika from Department of Biomedical Engineering, SNS College of Technology, Coimbatore. Today we are going to discuss about notch filters and optimum notch filtering in image restoration and segmentation. In our previous videos, we have discussed about uh, two types of noise models like mean filters and uh, order statistics filters, median filters, max filters, min filters like that. Today we are going to discuss about notch filters and optimum notch filtering in image restoration and segmentation. First thing, what do you mean by image enhancement and image restoration? Here, well coming into enhancement, it is largely a subjective process. Here. It doesn't need any degradation. Sometimes uh, no degradation is involved. Here, uh, the procedures are heuristic and it take advantages of uh, psychophysical aspects of human visual system. In restoration part, it is more an objective process. Here the images are degraded. It tries to recover the images by using the knowledge about degradation. Okay, here the image restoration it concerns the removal of or the reduction of degradations which have occurred during the acquisition of image here in image processing the techniques deals with restoration it's rather than with the degradation themselves or the properties of electronic equipment which give rise to image degradation and uh, here we have an image degradation model see here here we have uh, two types of degradation. The first one is additive noise type and second one is image blur type. Additive noise type, spatial domain restoration, denoising techniques are preferred. Second one is image blur. Here the frequency domain methods are preferred. See here, uh, consider f of xy is your input image free from any degradation and g of xy is your degraded image and your point is the convolution operator. Here our goal is to obtain an estimate of f of xy according to the knowledge about the degradation function h and the additive noise eta. In frequency domain g of uv it is equal to h of u of v plus f of uv plus n of uv. Here we consider three cases. First one is g of xy equal to f of xy plus eta of xy. And uh, second one is about f, uh, g of xy it is equal to h of xy multiplied that is convolute with f of xy and third one is about g of xy it is equal to h of xy multiplied or convolute with f of xy plus e to of xy okay see here a model of the image degradation or restoration process see your input image is f of xy which is fed into degradation function h and the output of degradation function h degradation part it is again added up with noise e to of xy and g of xy to the restoration filter first part is degradation then we move into restoration part and finally we get f cap of xy the output of degradation and restoration process Okay, here we consider g of xy is equal to f of xy convolution with h of xy and g of xy is equal to f of xy convolution with h of xy plus noise n of xy. So we consider both input image, noisy image and our output image with convolution function. See here. Here, the periodic noise reduction is done by frequency domain filtering. Here we have low pass and high pass filters for image enhancement and band reject, band pause and notch filters as tool for periodic noise reduction or removal are to be studied here in this, uh, in this series. See, here first one is our notch filter. Notch filters that pass rather than suppress. HNP of UV is equal to 1 minus HNR of UV. Here, NR filters become high pass filters if U0 equal to V0 equal to 0. NP filters become low pass filters if U0, V0 it is equal to 0. Here we have both high pass filters and low pass filters based on the applications. Okay, here we have 
uh, see this example. First one is you can see the effect of scan lines in the first picture. In the second one we have spectrum of image and in the road to the second image it represents notch pass filter. Okay, IFT of NP filtered image here see here the result of NR filter. How it affects input image into the filtered image. IFT means it is inverse Fourier transform. See here, first one we have seen about notch filtering, second one is about optimum notch filtering. See here, the first image and the second image. First is your input image, second is your Fourier spectrum, it is showing the periodic interference. See here, how it affects our input image. And while moving into optimum notch filtering, in the ideal case, the original image it can be restored if the noise can be estimated completely. Like f of x y is equal to g of x m of y minus e to of x y. Here e to of x y means noise of x y. However, the noise can be only partially estimated. This means the restored image is not exact. So here f cap of x y is equal to g of x y minus eta cap of x y. Here eta cap of x y is equal to ift inverse Fourier transform of h of u comma v g of u comma v. Okay, in optimum notch filtering, f cap of x y is equal to g of x y minus w of x y and eta cap of x y. It contains both input function as well as noisy function. So we can optimize its performance by minimizing the local variance of the restored image at the position x y. So the equation it becomes f cap bar of x comma y is equal to 1 by 2a plus 1 multiplied with 2b plus 1 summation is equal to minus a t it is equal to minus b we have both two summations one for a and one for b and after that we have f cap of x plus s comma y plus t okay here in optimum notch filtering the points on our near edge of the image it can be treated by considering partial neighborhoods so the equation it becomes w of x comma y eta cap of x comma y the whole bar it is equal to w of x comma y multiplied with eta cap bar of x comma y because we are considering the partial neighborhoods too Okay, to minimize the sigma square of x, y, we consider uh, dou sigma square of x, comma y by dou w of x, comma y, it is equal to 0. See here, f, uh, the pictures it shows g of x, comma y and eta, of, eta cap of x, comma y and we have w of x, comma y. Here the formula it becomes uh, f cap of x comma y it is equal to g of x comma y minus w of x comma y multiplied with eta cap of x comma y. See here the output of optimum notch filtering. Here we use the Fourier spectrum without shifting of image. And Fourier spectrum of n of u comma v and the corresponding noise interference pattern e to of x comma y. Here we have g of x comma y and f cap of x comma y. Thank you.